Welcome back! Uh, in this video, you will learn how to port your Android session to your PC using a free Windows tool so you could use an external PC monitor for a bigger working environment. And then we'll use a transparent window on top of Stop Motion Studio Pro and make it as a reference point to help you post your puppet. So here's what we'll need. SCR Copy. Uh, this is the free screen task tool for Android on top replica for the transparent window to hold your reference photo for posing the puppet. Let's see these tools in action. Alright, so connect your phone to your PC and uh, load SCR copy. Once loaded, uh, you will immediately see your phone on your PC's monitor. Then you use your mouse within Windows to operate your smartphone, okay? On top of Stop Motion Pro, prepare your movie. Uh, set up the quality of the video, set the focus to manual, however you prepare your movie in the app. After that, we'll go back to Windows and work exclusively there. Uh, we'll never have to touch the smartphone again. Alright, go back to Windows and load the first reference photo. Launch uh, on top replica. And then on the window, right click on the window and locate the reference image by choosing select window. Uh, select the region uh, to isolate your reference frame. Right. So draw a box here and if you're happy with that, click on done. Now set the opacity to maybe 50 or 75%. Make the window bigger or place it uh, to uh, the next to the puppet or to wherever you uh, desire. Now you can push your puppet. Once you've captured the final image, basically that's it. For the uh, succeeding images, you will just select the next image on your image viewing app. And then each time you load an image, make a note of the file and keep in mind which image you will replicate or which you had done prior. So I'm on image number two now because we've completed image number one. I'm just checking, yeah. As you replicate the pose, of course, uh, you have to keep comparing the previously captured image with the new pose as you would normally, right? Uh, so you pick the slider on the left, So this is a simple walking animation with uh, 48 frames to replicate. So I won't bore you with the rest of the process. I will link in the description below uh, all the free Windows apps uh, used in this uh, demo. And you can find the installation process of course on YouTube. As the reference image moves from right to left, eventually the reference window had to be resized to reframe the character. So just right click on the transparent window and select the new region. Okay, uh, as we did earlier. Make room uh, for a few more frames here. And uh, you continue the process. So I'll speed things up now. Uh, I hope you get the idea of the workflow and hopefully this will help you in the process. So here's the final output and Gundam is able to walk like its human counterpart. Alright, until the next one guys. Thank you. Bye.